Hello, so I am down in Queen's Park in Maribara, Queensland. Um, we are going to be doing a flow stretch style Pilates class today. I'm already sweating and I haven't even started, so I think I'm just going to be like profusely sweating by the end of this, but it's not going to be too hard, definitely beginner friendly, a uh, couple of different layers in there, some really nice deep stretches, especially in the glutes, the hamstrings and the legs, and I hope you enjoy, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start at the end of our mat. So, if you don't have a mat at home, anywhere is fine. If you've just got a nice little carpeted area or some grass, that will work really well as well. Okay, so we're going to start by bringing our chin to chest, round through the spine, dropping all the way down. And then restack all the way back up tall, lifting the arms up to the sky. And butterfly down, chin to chest, round through the spine, dropping all the way down. Restack back up tall, just taking your time here, finding your own rhythm and pace. Just thinking about rounding through the spine first as we drop down. So as we butterfly the arms back down by our side, chin to chest, round through the spine before moving at the hips. Once you've hit that natural stopping point, then hinge at the hips, dropping the hands down towards the ground. Then re-stack up from the hips and then the spine. We'll just do a couple more here. So this is going to be a nice flow, slow style Pilates class. We're going to be doing a little bit of movement just to warm up the body, but then getting into some really nice stretches as well. All right, one more here. When you come back up, interlace your fingers and then push your palms up to the sky. Interlace the fingers, push the palms up, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping the hands back down by your side, coming all the way down. We're gonna work our way down onto the mat. So if you need to bend your knees here to get your hand to um, get your hands to the mat, just take a little bend in the knees. Walk the hands out. We're going to find a pike, also more commonly known as down dog. All right, let's think about those heels dropping down towards the ground here, pushing your chest towards your legs. We can go for a little cycle here. So we drop one knee and drop the opposite heel down and swap and swap and swap for five, four, three, two, and last ones each side. Gently drop the knees down and tuck the toes. Find your child's pose, reaching those hands as far forward as you can, dropping your bum down towards your heels. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to lift up into an angry cat, rounding through the spine, then change to happy cat as you sink back down into your child's pose. Angry cat to lift, round through the spine, look through to your knees. Happy cat, drop the tummy down, look up to the sky as you sink back down. Round to lift. Happy cat to drop back down. Let's do two more here. Last one. And put the sunglasses back on, it's starting to get a little bit glary. All right, lifting back up onto your hands and knees. Hands are under the shoulders, knees under the hips, just about hip distance apart. Right hand is gonna come up to the sky, opening up through the chest, thread the needle through, rest the arm fully down onto the mat. Lifting up and thread. This is giving us a little stretch through the shoulder. Lift and thread. Lift and thread. Let's swap sides. We'll do the other side now. Lifting up and thread, rest the arm down. Lift and thread, rest in the arm. Lift and thread. Two more. Lift 
and thread. Last one, lift and thread. Let's push back into child's pose, reaching those hands as far forward as we can. From here, we are gonna tuck the toes under, lift the bum up to the sky into your pike. Gently drop the knees down, drop the bum back to the heels. Keep the toes tucked the whole time. We lift up and drop back down. Lift and drop. We've got three. And two. Last ones. Lift and dropping back down. Untuck the toes, push back into child's pose, reaching the hands as far forward as you can. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. One, back up onto the hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, hip distance, distance apart. We're gonna go through a little bird dog series. So right hand, left leg comes out at the same time, then drop it down. Now we swap sides, left hand, right leg. And swap, and swap. Now, little tip here is we wanna try and keep our torso as still as possible. So our gaze is gonna go straight down to the mat so our neck is staying in line with our spine. We're gonna think about an, an invisible, boiling hot cup of tea sitting on our back. So we wanna keep that torso nice and rigid. So we don't wanna spill it, because that'll hurt. <laughs> Little trick you can do at home is you can pop a pillow, a little cushion onto your back. Try and balance it there as you're going through this one. We've got three more each side. And two. And last ones, each side. And dropping back down into your child's pose. Reaching those hands as far forward as you can. For another five, four, three, two and one lifting up into your pike again now so tuck the toes bum up to the sky now we're going to aim to prop our right foot in between our hands if this takes you a couple of steps that's all good if it takes you one step that's all good too if you need to stand up to do it stand up to do it we're going to take the right foot in between the hands from here we're going to leave that back leg up we're going to do some little hinges with the toes so hands down to the mat we're going to hinge forward using the back toes and then sink the heel back towards the mat so we come forward and back forward and back for five four three two and one gently drop the knee down untuck the toes straighten out through that right leg then bend into a lunge straighten and bend straighten and bend you can walk your hands along here if you're feeling quite balanced you could also bring your hands up onto your knee or even lift your torso upright another little trick here if you need to if you'd like to come upright you could always use something just to help balance you uh, like a little chair or a roller quite, works quite well as well all right let's start to point those toes up towards the sky as we straighten out through the leg for three two and one hands come all the way forward tuck the back toes lift the knee bring that leg all the way back we'll call my mat on the way there we're going to swap sides so now we're going to place that left foot in between the hands drop the back knee down so i tell a lie lift that knee back up we're going to hinge forward and back using those back toes so coming forward up onto the tippy toes then drop the heel back down for five four three two and one, gently drop the knee down, untuck the toes, sinking into your lunge, then walk the hands back, straightening out the left leg. Forward and straight. Now again, your hands can be on either side of your foot. You could bring it up onto your knee or bring your torso upright. Let's start to point those toes up towards the sky. Whew. I am very warm. It is very humid here. Beautiful though, but oh, it's humid. Let's go for five. Keep lifting those toes up for four, three, two, and last ones. Bringing the hands back down to the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, pull that leg back into your pike, gently drop the knees down, untuck the toes, pushing back into child's pose, reaching those hands as far forward as you can. We're going to do a little bit of glute work and then we're going to move into some really nice stretches. So for our glute work, we are up on our hands and knees, but if your hands, if your wrists are really bothering you, a really good alternative 
just drop down onto your forearms. You're going to get exactly the same exercise, but you're just a bit closer down to the mat. So what we're going to do here is lift our right foot up. So you can see here my knee's staying on the mat. I'm just lifting my right foot up. Now I'm locking that into place. The angle of my knee is not going to shift here. I am going to lift my knee up, however, but see that angle never changes. We lift up and kick, drop down. Lift up and kick, drop down. We've got seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and last one. And dropping down if you'd like to take a sneaky little child's pose, go for it. Just have a quick little stretch out and then we'll do the other side. So again, we're going to lift those left toes up first. Lock that knee into place. That angle's not going to change. We lift up and kick, then drop down. Lift up and kick, drop down. Seven to go. And six. Five. And four. Three. And two. And last one, and dropping back down into child's pose, reaching those hands forward. Now my absolute favorite stretch to do after those is a pigeon pose. So we're gonna move into that next. We are going to tuck the toes, lift the bum up to the sky again. Right knee is gonna come down in between our hands. So dropping that right knee down, drop your back knee, untuck your back toes. Now from here, we can make some little adjustments to get a bit deeper into our stretch. Front foot, we can pull out on more of an angle. Back toes, we can sink back a little bit further. Now, from here, we can also move into a few different positions. We can stay on our hands. We can drop down onto our forearms. We can place our forehead down. For some people, getting their body down will give them a really good stretch as well. Play around with it. Find where you get a good stretch, okay? If something's just really not working for you, just shift around. You may drop your bum off to the side a little bit. You may just... Just move around, shift around, find that stretch in this general area and just sinking down. Now we're going to hold here for another 30 seconds. It's a great opportunity just to take some nice deep breaths, regulate your breathing, use that breath to sink deeper into your stretch with each breath out. You can sink further down, get right into that glute. And we're just got a nice little breeze that feels very good <laughs> all right let's swap sides now so we're going to push the hands into the mat tuck the back toes lift the knee up lift the bum up to the sky take the leg back and we're going to drop that left knee down in between our hands drop the back knee untuck the back toes same thing here again make any little adjustments and then we're going to sink down into our preferred position whether that's hands forearms forehead or body down onto the mat just sinking into that hip here, using your breath to sink deeper into the stretch with every exhale. We're going to hold for another 30 seconds. Just close your eyes and breathe. We'll hold here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Pushing the hands into the mat, tuck the back toes, bum to the sky. Drop those knees down to the mat, untuck the toes, push into your child's pose. We're lifting up into Angry Cat, round through the spine. Now you may find you need to readjust your hands here as you drop your waistband down towards your hands. Look up, we're into our Cobra. Angry Cat. Child's pose. Angry cat. To cobra. Angry cat. To child's pose. Angry cat. To cobra. Let's do one more here. Meeting back 
in child's pose sinking down here we've got one last stretch is one of my favorites actually they're all my favorites but i do really enjoy this one we're going to slide the hands forward lifting the bum up drop your chest down towards the mat you're really going to get an awesome stretch here through the shoulders maybe through the back i'm feeling this a little bit in my sides today i'm a bit tight through there we're just going to sink down here with each breath out to see if you can sink that little bit deeper we're going to hold for another 20 seconds sinking down with each breath out for 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walking those hands back, drop the bum down to the heels. We're going to tuck those toes, lift the bum up to the sky, walking the hands back to the feet. Bend in the knees if you need to, restack the spine. Coming all the way back up, arms up to the sky. Butterfly down, chin to chest, round, dropping all the way back down. Last one here to finish off, coming all the way back up. Interlace the fingers, push your palms up to the sky. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping the hands back down, and we are all done and dust. So give those shoulders a nice roll out. So if you'd like to attend some live classes, I run these through my online studio called Big Wellbeing Co. We meet on Zoom, we have small group classes, so it really helps for a more individualized class. Uh, we have stretch classes, wellbeing classes, and big burn classes if you really wanna get a good sweat going. 